you ever get tired from all these plays? I mean, or um, practice or anything? Practice is definitely hard. I'm in the games, you know, so the games just basically slows down for me, you know, and I'm not out there every play, you know, on offense, so now I don't really be tired. Is there something you've done to try to condition yourself that way, or is it just natural? Uh, to you are? No, I've pretty much been doing that my whole life, so I guess my body's kind of used to it. I don't know. But, you know, Coach Tobert and, and, and the strength and conditioning guys did a great job with us all spring, all summer long, and, you know, they have our bodies in tip-top shape. So, you know, I feel good, ready to go. Jim had complimented you saying, you know, your conditioning was a big part of how you've been able to perform well in all three phases. When you got to Michigan, was there anything you had to do differently or anything, you know, you took into your conditioning program? Um, it was more mental than, you know, conditioning because, you know, the schemes are a little bit more, you know, difficult. The offensive plays are a little bit more longer than, you know, I was used to. But, you know, all you have to do is just put in the time and the effort. And, you know, anybody can really do it, really. Anything physical, though, that was kind of added to your base? Uh, nah, not really, no. Just, just more of a mental thing, in my opinion. You had the shutout streak, and then you had the, the little more struggles the last two games. Is the, this defense really somewhere in between those two? Um, no, we, like I said before, man, we, we know how we got to play, and, you know, we, we know we didn't put forth our best effort in, you know, in, in either one of those games. So, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's nothing really that can't be corrected. It's just, you know, just going out there and doing it. Like I said before, you know, we know how we're supposed to play. We just got to play like it. Jim said you have kind of a unique ability to see someone teach you something and then immediately sort of be able to do it. Yeah. How long would it take you to, like, learn how to kick a field goal? Oh, well, I, I, I can actually kick a field goal, but... Um, <laughs> how long? Uh, I mean, I guess, you know, how we do it is, you know, they call me in the room, they show me the play on the clip first, read me the play, and they tell me what what to look for, what they think is going to happen in the play, and, you know, the rest is just instincts. So, so how long a field goal can you kick? Uh, What's your field goal? Probably could kick probably about twenty yarder. Okay. Twenty yarder. But it has to be in the middle though. I'm not I'm not good at angle. <laughs> Was it hard watching on video what you probably think should have been a pick six? Oh, I left a lot of plays out there, you know. Like to the to the outside world, you know, they think I played really well, but you know, my opinion and you know, a lot of People who hold me to higher standards know I could have played a lot better. You know, I should have I should have returned the punt return. You know, I should have had the pick six. You know, in the first drive, you know, my eyes were terrible. My eye discipline was terrible. You know, some plays I was loafing to the ball. So, you know, I definitely could have played a lot better. And you know, we all could have played a lot better. So, you just take it, take it on the chin, and you just keep getting better and better. So that's what I try to do: get better every week. When did you start taking snaps with the offense? Meaning in practice. In practice yeah. um, well, we had implemented something summer in the summer. Then we kind of got away from it. But then it started the Michigan State week. And you were supposed to throw the ball in that one play. I was. Are you I was. a decent thrower? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can. I can throw the ball pretty well. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm not like Wilton or you know Jake or anything, but I can I, I can surprise a lot of people with my ability to throw the ball. I, I feel like, but um, yeah, we had a play where I fake it, roll out to the right, thought they were going to pursue, but they stayed disciplined. You know, covered their keys. You know, I didn't know I lost any yards. I just would have threw it away if I knew I lost yards. But you know, that just that was me not being aware. So, you no, know, I won't have it again. But yeah, I was I was supposed to throw the ball. Yep. Was there sort of an anxiousness that you wanted to throw it I regardless throw of what it. the I coverage did, was? I did, I did want to throw it, but, you know, at that moment, it was kind of in a crunch time kind of situation where we needed to score. So I was like, in my head while I'm rolling now, I'm like, maybe I could fit it. But, you know, I, I don't want to make a bonehead play, maybe throw a pick or it gets tipped. And then they pick it, you know, when we definitely needed a, a, a score on that drive. So we need to come away with some kind of point. So, you know, I just tuck it, tucked it and ran. I didn't know I lost three yards. Like I said, I would have threw it away, but. So you, no. can, you can kick it, you can throw it, anything else, can you long snap, can you punt? Well, <laughs> I can punt, but I'm, I'm not as good as Blake, but you know, I can, <laughs> I can, I can definitely punt, uh, I can long snap, but not the traditional way, but I can make it look like it's the traditional way, so, 
you know, it's just I've been playing football a very long time, and I just try to be as well-rounded as possible. We're trying to make sure we know all your tricks. <laughs> <laughs>